Well, hello guys, Aquatic Let's Plays and Reviews here, and welcome to another Nether Update Snapshot video. And in today's video, we have the introduction of a very much anticipated new structure in the Nether. We have the introduction of Bastions, the Piglin's home. We've been waiting and waiting for the Bastions to get into the snapshots. And now they are finally here. And we'll be checking those out. Now, as of the recording of this video, MC Pro Hosting does not have the snapshot uploaded to their thing so that I can upload it to my server so that I can try it on my server therefore I am doing this video and it is just going to be a comprehensive look at maybe what the, they can potentially look like like the bastions can look like and stuff then we'll go into the depth of more things in the actual Aquatic Land episodes once the episodes are out or once I'm able to put the snapshot on my server I will be making the episodes and stuff. Episode 2 still has to premiere and it will probably be premiering shortly after this episode so that I can make room for the Bastions in the next one after because yeah we had to if you didn't know we had to reset the nether and my whole entire server because technical issues that happened I had to basically move a whole to a whole new server because of technical issues and had to get a brand new nether so that's a thing and it helped in the long run because they introduced a new biome last week and this week is a new structure and if you know anything about how Minecraft works I know I'm just blabbing and still getting along with the snapshot but if you know how Minecraft works anytime they introduce a new structure or biome any any area that you've already been playing in no matter what dimension overworld end or nether no matter what one you're in you have to load new chunks and it's kind of hard to do especially if you're not with the Lytra or at the end game it is specifically hard to do and I'm not exactly to the end game yet after all, I was halfway there in before I, we had to unexpectedly move servers. So, yeah, we're having to re-get to the end game, which is not always, which is not fun. But anyway, we are here to explore 20W16A. Also, there is another kind of structure that we're gonna go check out. Also, nether portals, half broken nether portals will now spawn in the nether and in the overworld. Bastions will spawn in any of the nether biomes. And I'm interested to see what kind of combinations these room, what these bastions are. Just, I've already checked out a little bit of them, but there's there's a lot of potential with the rooms and stuff. But a little information from uh, a dev himself, Kojo. He, a guy, a dev named King King B Dogs, said that they really really worked hard that um, Kojo who I have talked to on a server 
plenty of times, was in charge of making the bastions and stuff. It was a team effort to get all of this stuff in. And that they went worked super hard to get the bastions in. And, and you'll see how hard it was, uh, the proof. But now, let's read over the information. I know, a lot of reading and a lot of talking. As always, they'll be on your screen real quick. Okay, 20W16A. A Java Edition snapshot. Bastion's remnant, Bastion Remnants, or Home Sweet Home as Piglins would call them, are finally here. This snapshot introduces the home of the Piglins. If you score the world, you might also find some old portals. Find ruins of portals. That should be appearing on your screen right now. New features in 20W16A. Added bastion remnants. Added ruined portals. Added chain blocks. Added a new music disc titled Pig Step by Lena Rain, which can be found in the bastions. Bastion remnants. What made what's made of black stone and full of piglin and hoglin bastion remnants? Added four separate bastion remnant types: bridge, hoglin stable, housing unit, and treasure room. You can find these sizable structures all in the Nether, except the treacherous ash dust towers of basalt delta. Explore, loot, and conquer a bastion remnant to call it your home. Beware, piglins don't take kind kindly to intruders stealing their things. Ruined portals. Shatter ruins of ancient nether portals. Wonders who built them. They can be found in the overworld or the nether biomes. Some are hidden underground, under the sea, or buried in the sand. And as normal, we can slash locate them. So, yeah. All of that should have appeared on your screen. So let's just, these are just tests. Bastion test one. I just kind of want to go through, look at different things, the different possibilities that could happen with these and discuss maybe the future, what the next things could be for the nether update. So here we are, fresh new world. Oh, they did add something pretty new. It is called a chain. It's pretty cool. A chain. So now you can attach these, I guess, to lanterns and stuff. Which is pretty cool. And like always, you can slash locate Bastion Remnants. Ruin portal. So we're going to slash locate that and just see where it takes us. Okay, interesting. But where is it? Is it underground? It could possibly. They can spawn underground, they can appear underground. So I guess maybe it is. Okay, now this is something I like here. You can imagine being your first time exploring and you come across this. This is what this is what's good for new players. It encourages exploration and you know, that's a new way to find the nether blocks. 
in, in stuff. So it's pretty cool. Let's see what's in the chest. So you've got a way now. And you can, you can get away. You've got a way now to go to the nether. Except this doesn't work with crying, uh, the crying obsidian block. Let's see if I can take a good thumbnail here. gonna be a good thumbnail. So let's go through here. I wish I could like spawn instantly at a bastion. But that's not my luck. They also added a new music disc, which is like the first music disc I think they've added in forever, which is this one. So all of them have their name. The this is the old composer. This guy's this girl the woman's new. I can't wait to see what Dane PDM does with this. Cause now you can find ruined nether portals. He's gonna love it. Ugh, a little bit laggy, I gotta say. Okay. Okay, that's not a bastion. That is a glitch. That was a glitch. <laughs> okay, this might be... I'm worried about my server because literally I loaded a lot of new chunks. Well, this is great. You, That's a no go. But what about the nether fortress, man? Huh? In the world? Oh, okay. But what about the love for the nether fortress? Nether fortress don't get no love. Can we get an F in the comments for the nether fortress not being the only one now? I didn't know what to expect from the Bastions. I, I really literally had no idea what to expect. I knew that the dev that I talked to, he's uh, he was assigned to it. I knew he was. Because they posted a picture a long time back and it said Bastions. 
And he says his name. Name. Uh, so he he's cool. Okay, so we have a bastion here. This is the first one I've stumbled on that looks really different. Holy cow! This is a legitimate castle. Okay, let's, let's just uh, legitimately look at the loot. See, I told you, you can find Piglin Banners. And I told you you can find that. See, now you can add chains. This is something I've wanted in my shafts for a very long time. The ability to link chains. Well, the Piglin just literally fell from his to his death in his own fortress. Like, I don't think we've ever had, correct me if I'm wrong, but have we ever had naturally spawning full blocks of gold, diamond, emerald before? I don't think so. Holy cow. I'm not kidding you. Holy cow, dude. This is crazy. Now this is a structure. Minecraft went from basic jungle temple. <laughs> there are piglins falling from the sky. To this. This is like basically what I wanted in a review that I made my own structure a bastion. And I think there's even one where you can find... Okay, so I had a little bit of technical trouble. There is, once again, there is a bug or something in this, in this set of snapshots that keeps making my character pause. Like, when I, when I move, it'll just randomly stick me in place wherever I'm at. But as I was saying, oh my goodness, dude. This is exactly what I've wanted. Like, I actually suggested magma cream spawners in my video that I made. I'm going to lie. I'm pretty happy. Crossbow, another way of getting that crossbow. A ton of nether. Or a ton of gold. Ancient debris! Oh my goodness, you can find ancient debris. Oh my goodness, this is like. This is seriously the best. There's the spawner! This is actually probably gonna not gonna lie, gonna be my favorite. This is gonna be my favorite structure. Not gonna lie. Oh crap, that's a bug again. Yeah, this is this is the bug that I'm dealing with. Where I'll randomly be stuck in place and I can't do anything. I'm just gonna say, Kojo or King Bee Dog, if you are watching this video, there is a bug that is making me not be able to move. So, like, if any of the devs are watching this video, or if just anybody is watching this video, please report this bug. I don't know how you would report it, what you would say necessarily but 
It is like making me not be able to do anything. See, it's just randomly getting me stuck into place. And I don't know what's causing that. It's weird. But I don't know if I can further give you any more advice on this. Because it's exactly what I want. If you go back and listen to the video. Now, if we could get a little bit of love for the Nether Fortress, that would be great. Because I know what I know that you guys don't exactly want to update the Nether Fortress, but that would be great. I can't move. back all right guys I've had some technical issues I'm sorry for the random freezes in this video where I've had to make it into sections now but this is gonna be great I hope that the glitch doesn't continue onto my server I know I've had it on my server in the past I first encountered it on the older server now this is basically aquatic land 2 the one I'm talking about now because of the MC Pro hosting issue but I just hope that the random pauses don't continue and plague the full release that would that would stink but this is basically a castle this is what I think a nether fortress could look like if updated. A lot of potential here. I really like the design and I just wonder what they're gonna add next. I'm just curious to see what they're gonna add next because this is basically the most hyped thing I was hyped for in this whole update. And now it's here. So, what do I have to look forward to? <laughs> I got chains in my hands, dude. Chains in my hands. But, more than the last, be watching for another episode of Aquatic Land coming your way. It is episode 17, I think. But it is of the new nether where I reset it, where I had to, where they reset it and stuff. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please comment, like, and subscribe. Kind of a shorter thing, minus the glitches. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.